じゃあいただきます。いただきます。いただき。いただきます。ます。はい。Welcome to Earth Eats. I'm Kate Young. This is Mori Wilhite. We are at Katsumi's Teaching Kitchen. Today we're going to do a Japanese breakfast. Is、yes. that correct? Yes, we are. All right. And so, what are we going to start with? We're going to start with the rice. We have pre measured, pre checked, pre rinsed, pre soaked, and now we're going to get ready to cook it. Just sidebar to umami, the concept of umami. There are five tastes sweet, sour, bitter, salty, and savory. Umami is just the word savory in Japanese. Umai is、uh, delicious and meat is for meal. It's two words combined. And then here are the four main ingredients used in Japanese cooking to, do,、uh, to make your umami flavoring. And this is,、uh, as you can see, sardines. As ugly as these things are, this is what makes your flavorful ramen broth. And here is the、uh, seaweed, shiitake mushrooms, and katsuobushi basically is fish flakes. After a fish is caught, Uh, when it gets stateside, it's smoked to a jerky texture.、Mm -hmm. And then here are the shavings from it that you put、okay. in your miso soup to enhance the flavor of your broth. And then this is shiitake, probably the only non seafood type, but it gives you an earthy tone.、Uh -huh. And these are actually edible. After you've rehydrated them, you could chop them up and put it in your fried rice、okay. and make it you know, a higher level. Here in the US, everything is generically seaweed. Japan is 360 degrees ocean. And out of that, 1200 species of seaweed is discovered. And out of the 1200, 120 is eaten. Okay. And then each one of them have a name. Okay. So this one here is a seaweed, quote unquote, but it's a kombu, which is made to use to make broth. And the seaweed that you use to wrap your sushi, that's nori. It's a、okay. different type of species. So just to give you a distinction, I may be spitting out Japanese words periodically.、So. And this is the、uh, sardines, or excuse me, the anchovies. How do you make the broth? You just have water. I'll be showing that in a second. And、okay. then you just let it、um, secrete all the yumminess. And then you usually throw most of these out. So, what you want to do is, I have、uh, again bottled water since I don't have a water filter system here. It is very important. Don't forget your kombu. That's what、um, it infuses the umami flavor in the rice doing、nice. steaming. So, that's how that's you、great. get your perfect sushi rice. So, our rice is started in the rice cooker. What else is in a Japanese breakfast? So, a Japanese breakfast consists of the miso soup, rice, a nice protein, we're gonna have salmon, and then three side dishes, little、okay. side dishes. So,、okay. traditionally, they did that just to make it more well rounded.、Mm -hmm. You know, most Japanese do not eat fried things first thing in the morning. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think that's American. Okay, so now we're gonna make the miso. Yes.、And、what do we have here? So,、uh, here in this tray, I have about a generous tablespoon of the miso paste. And right here, that, that looks mushy, is the wakame, one of the other seaweeds. It comes out dehydrated, and I just put it in water、okay. to make it you know, fully bloom. But it, I find it salty. That's why、okay. I pre soaked it to take the saltiness out before I add it to the miso soup.、Okay. And then、uh, this is yours truly, the tofu. And here is the chopped up green onions. I usually wait till I'm ready to serve because、okay. they brown quickly. Okay. So here I have the miso soup.、Uh, if you could take a look. So there's some of the dried anchovies in there. Correct. And then some of the kombu. Yes, exactly.、Okay. And that and is. Been soaking or you just now put it in? No, I put that in about an hour ago. Okay. So just to give it the extra、uh, umami flavor in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it a little bit. And、uh, here I'm going to use the katsuobushi. Is that the same as bonito flakes? Yes. I'm、okay. sorry, I spoke Japanese. This、oh, is the、okay. bonito flakes. Sorry. <laughs> Forgot where it was. I just、so. wanted to make sure it was the same. Yes, it is. So I'm just going to put like a handful of flakes. So this one will be very flavorful because there's three different t y p e of umami ingredients in there. Bring it down a little.、Mm -hmm. You'll see when I pour this, strain this out, it'll look. Very like warm apple juice.、Okay. That, that's, that's the dashi. When you do Japanese cooking, there's this word that says dashi, and this is what they're talking about.、Okay. Making the umami broth. If you can't taste the difference, I don't know what to say to you, because it's going <laughs> to be just totally like, oh my gosh. And the reason why I kind of over umami it in class so the students will notice if they have it or not when they go to the Asian uh, Japanese um, restaurant. Okay. So, and、uh, then that way, 
At the very least, my class is a consumer alert for Japanese uh, gotcha. restaurants locally. And so are you bringing this to a full boil or? Yep, okay. it's warming up. So I'm gonna turn this off for a second and I'll strain it. So this is the dashi. I don't know if you can yeah. see it, the coloring and everything. And it smells. Oh, I really love that smoky flavor. That comes from the flakes, right? Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. So let me put this back in. Could be richer. The uh, soybean paste, the miso soup here is very uh, clumpy. It's very sticky. So you want to go ahead and uh, break it down. So now we've got our broth with yes. our miso. We'll put our little tofu in there. And is that silken tofu? Is I have usually a... firm because I don't okay, want them firm. to break up in my miso soup. Okay. I want so to pick a up a nice big cube. So. Okay. And then this one here is the uh, wakame. And so is that just a more tender variety of seaweed yes. too, as opposed to the kombu, which is kind of thick? My mom being the proper Japanese food snob that she was, uh, we put a little bit of sake in everything. Okay. So if you ever came to my house and I made Japanese breakfast, this would be it. So I'll just put like a, a little cap full. When we were little and got sick, my mom had us drink miso soup. This is actually a natural probiotic. It helps settle your stomach. So this is a good comfort food. And my understanding is you don't really want to boil yeah. the miso because you don't want to kill all that. Right, you don't want to kill the little put critters. just want to put it in that little micro when it's hot. Yes. I mean, you can see a little steam and that's just about right. Oh, that smells so good. I'm smelling the seaweed and the smoky. The katsobushi and everything. So uh, traditionally there are no spoons. You just bring the bowl to your face to drink. Tofu is so silky yeah. and it's really absorbing all of those flavors. Yes. Oh, that's delicious. It's real I'm it's very rich and so many textures. That's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I love it. Can you taste a hint of the um, sake in there? There's something that is hard to identify. So, I don't know if it's the combination of mm -hmm. everything, but it's gorgeous. I love it. And now what are we doing next? We're going to do the protein part, which is the salmon. Put a little bit of salt this is just your ginger. So this is the only thing I could buy at the corner liquor store. I'll broil for about 10 minutes and I'll check again. Okay. So what kinds of sides are we gonna prepare? One of them is natto, which is fermented soybeans. They come oh. like this. It's very Japanese. Don't worry, even amongst Japanese people, some people can't stand it. This is a pickled cucumber that I made yesterday. Here are some takuang. So a little bit of pickled dishes as well on that. Oh, so. now I know what this is. Oh, you do? Do you like well, it? I just, I just remember oh, okay. um, someone ordered it at a restaurant once. Oh, okay, that must have gone well. Yes. Some Japanese people even add the yolk uh, of an egg to it. So I'm gonna uh, grab some of my seaweed. I mean, this is just the flakes from the katsobushi. It's very ungraceful, but it'll taste good, don't worry. So, so this is a traditional Japanese breakfast or a version of it? Yes. I wanna try some of these oh, things. Oh, please do. Have a sip of miso soup first to get started. Okay. And then basically you're picking up little bits and pieces, put on your rice to eat. And some of this? Yep. Any combination, but you want to taste it solo first to make sure it tastes right. The salmon's delicious and with the radish, the daikon, it it's really it. good, yeah. Yes. So sometimes if you want to get a little bit, like making your own little sushi or something, you could take your little seaweed here, have some pickled stuff in this case, and then go ahead and take your, your sheet here, and then cover it over, pinch it. Have it like this. So. Nice. I love it. Yeah, cover over the, yeah, lengthwise, very good. Then pinch over it. Not accomplishing. No, you're always there. Because the rice is sticky, don't just take it. Yep, very good. Wow, that is a range of flavors going on. 
I had never tried this before. Oh, okay. I was afraid I wouldn't like it, but I, I tasted it, but I'm not sure which, because <laughs> I had so many things going on. I had the pickles in there, but something a little bit nutty, sweet. Mm -hmm. And then it also had those other seasonings on it. So yeah, it was really nice. It's great. And with that, with that little nori wrap, that was delicious. Well, thank you so much. Thank this you. This is really delightful. So interesting. So many different flavors and all that umami. Thank you so much for joining us. If you like our video, you can subscribe and find our podcast at eartheats.org.